this week for our video uh, we want to begin and end talking about the Psalms we want to start with a psalm that is during the morning and end with a psalm that is in the evening. So, let me read Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, and she will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in an uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done, the desolation he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Hey guys, it's CH MS TV. This week we are talking about rejoice. Steve talked about it on Sunday and we are going to jump into it. There's my dog. Oh, I tried to zoom in. I apparently don't understand technology. He dug up all of that dirt. Let's jump into rejoicing. This is CHMS TV with Hamden and Morgan. So we are talking about rejoicing today, right? We are speaking into what Steve talked about on Sunday, and we're talking more about what does it mean for us to rejoice? What does that look like? How do we how do we do that throughout the day? Uh, whenever you think of rejoicing, what do you think of, Morgan? Um, typically, the way that I think of words is I try to break them apart and think of the pieces. Uh -huh. So when I think rejoice, it's like joy again. Mm -hmm. Three would be again, so it's like giving joy again kind of thing. That's what I think of. Um, so to me, it's it's being joyful, it's giving thanks, uh, and just kind of sharing that. Like, I feel like rejoicing is best done together. Okay. Yeah. Whenever I think about rejoicing, I think about uh, the fact that um, one of the things that you can rejoice in is whenever you get an A on a test. Like, you rejoice after the fact. You're like, oh. Thank you. I'm so glad I remembered all those things. Like you get really excited and it's something that really brings yourself pride, right? Like you can't help but be like, yes, that was awesome. I'm so glad I got that A. Like, like now, now not all of you are like that. Now some of you guys are like, oh, I don't care. Um, but some of you guys get super excited about that. Or maybe uh, something else that you're really excited about is if you're in band and you finally, you work your way up and you finally get first chair. Like that's really important for you. Or maybe you're graduating or you're moving up. So you're coming to sixth grade or you're moving up out of eighth grade. You might be excited about that. You might be like, yes, I, you feel a sense that you just, you want to tell people. You want to, you want to, you want to say it. That is rejoicing. It's, it's spreading something. You want to proclaim it. You want to talk about it. That's the inner sense of something exciting is happening and you really want people to know. Uh, one of the greatest things and one of the things that one of my friends actually recently uh, just had that was a moment to rejoice was he had a baby um, now I know no one here is you know looking towards having a baby we're not looking towards a baby and y'all aren't looking towards having a baby so um, but you know whenever people have babies it's exciting like there's a sense of pride that comes and there's a sense that you want to share that with everyone you want to talk about it you want to show that and you want to thank God for that and that's what rejoicing is is thanking and acknowledging God in all that's happening and all that we're doing. And so that's what we're talking about today is rejoicing and praising, worshiping God today. So what we get into is talking about what does rejoice mean and how can we do that? So what we talk about is first off, um, did you know, Morgan, that 
rejoice is used 192 times in the Bible. Is there like a specific version for that or just in general? Well, I don't know. I'm sure it's in probably more, more versions probably have 192. But the word rejoice is found in NIV 192 oh, okay. times. Yeah. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. So um, the, in the Greek, it's the word Cairo. Um, and in the uh, Old Testament, the Hebrew, um, it's smith. And it's smith because there's no vowels in Hebrew. Um, Is that right? I know. It's funny to me. We actually had to go in later and like add in vowels. So I don't really understand all the Hebrew stuff. So if someone corrects me, that's fine. I'm not that smart. Okay. Um, but I know like we, there's like no vowels. So it's like smith. And that's the word. <laughs> so like that's why like Hebrew, it's like, it's a bunch of like, it's all I know. I'm not like trying to be mean. I just, I don't know it that well. I feel like you just made random noises. No, like you got to use a lot of phlegm, you know? Like I'm pretty sure it's like, it's not like a mean <laughs> thing. Like you got to use a lot of phlegm. You got to be like, you got to like, I mean, you got to be like spitting, like to really speak it well. Like, and I'm like, I'm not a spitting fan. So, you know, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of Hebrew. Uh, <laughs> Probably I, a good thing. Well, I don't really do a whole lot of Greek either. So kind of got both those, but I know Greek is Cairo. So, like, that one isn't as bad. So, there is uh, some vowels. vowels. In there, there is vowels, yeah. Um, alpha, which actually looks kind of like an A, but it really looks like a Jesus fish, you know. That's what an alpha looks like. Um, but we're talking about rejoice and what does it mean. And each time, it's just talking about uh, rejoicing or proclaiming or uh, honoring God in all that they're doing. And it's talking about basically that they're rejoicing. They're, they're really wanting to tell people. They're spreading the news. They're talking about it because they're so excited about what God has done in their life that he wants they want to tell people what is going on and one of the ways one of the great ways um, that we that we today get to talk about who God is and how great he is is in our accomplishments um, like whenever we're excited about something we can proclaim that and say you know what God has really helped me get to this point I'm really thankful for what he has done it's kind of noticing that he has been a part of what you've done in your work and how you've how you've made it thus far is acknowledging him and adoring him and saying, God, you have really helped me get to this point. Uh, Morgan, what comes to mind whenever you think of uh, worship or adoration or praising him? Uh, when I think of worship and, and praise, a lot of times I think of singing, which mm -hmm. I think is one way of like rejoicing. Oh, yeah. Um, but there's that song. Good Christian men rejoice, rejoice, rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Rejoice, rejoice. I don't think I did that right, but we sang it a lot. It was awesome. Rejoice. <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that. I don't. I don't know how to follow that. You gotta. I, I can't talk anymore. I can't follow that. That's okay. That's all right. So we'll move on then. Um, oh, I forgot the question. I was so distracted by your singing. It's all right. I'm it's sorry. Right. How, Morgan, how can they practice rejoicing this week? How you can practice this week would be to look at the Psalms. Mm -hmm. Not all of the Psalms are about rejoicing. There are Psalms for pretty much any emotion that you might be feeling. But there are Psalms for rejoicing. Um, so what I would recommend doing is finding a Psalm. We'll have a little list, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Mm -hmm. We'll have a list of psalms that you can look at. It's right here over my face. Look at those psalms. Pick one. Uh, read it. Mm -hmm. Not just once. Read it multiple times. And don't... You can read it like seven times in a day. Yeah. That's fine. I would recommend reading it, taking a day, reading it again. So read it a couple different days because a lot of times when I come to the same parts of the Bible but it's on different days. I'll come in with a different mindset and mm -hmm. a different frame of mind, and it'll mean something different to me. Yeah. One of the great things about scripture is that it really helps us speak when we don't know what to say. Uh, for example, one of the scriptures that uh, really talks about who God is and it's, it's acknowledging um, who he is, is Genesis 16, uh, verse 13. It says, she gave this name to the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees me. For she said, I have now seen the one who sees me. And that really is talking about how uh, Hagar has run away from Sarai. 
and she is really upset and she's hurt because she uh, has been getting harassed by Sarai. And basically, God says, I see you. And she even alludes to this and helps us see that, like she says, I have now seen the one who sees me. And it helps us see that as she was seen, we can be seen. And that's what we can speak. We can speak into that. Uh, we can read that scripture and speak out those words and say, God, we know that you are the one that sees us. And that's something that encourages us and helps us rejoice and praise him and worship him in our day. Uh, Morgan, what's something that you think of whenever you think of um, like a word or a phrase that comes to mind to help you kind of rejoice? So I was thinking about that um, and, and what I thought of was like God being constant and being there for me. Mm -hmm. um, and so then I was looking actually at Psalms because, you know, Psalms. Yeah. And I found Psalm 46, 1, and it says this, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Nice. And so it, I think it's so cool to know that it's not just me that feels God is here for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's been through generations and years, and God is still there. Yeah. No matter what's going on. Um, so it was, it was kind of cool for me to see how I'm feeling reflected in a psalm too, and it, it helped me to see, oh, okay, I can rejoice through mm -hmm. the scripture because I'm feeling these things. I just didn't know how to say them this way. Yeah. So the challenge that we want to give you today is to read a one psalm for this week. Read one psalm and keep reading it. Don't just read it run, once. Read it once. Don't just, don't just read it once, but keep reading the same psalm because it helps us focus in. And what you'll see is at the beginning of this video and at the end, we're reading a psalm. We're focusing in and we're pausing and we're slowing down and we're rejoicing and we're, we're saying, God, you are... A good God and that's what we're doing we're reading those Psalms and we're saying okay God you are here and you are present and that's what we want to do for you we want we want you sorry that's what we want you to do we want you to notice that God is there and that's what the fire represents that's what the fire behind us is talking about is that like God is in the present he's there and that's why we pause we pause to remember that he's there and we, re we rejoice by reading a psalm. A psalm that is about rejoicing, that is focused on who he is and how great he is. And so that's the goal for us. And that's the goal for you this week. And we want to hear, you know, what you do. We want to hear what psalm you use. We want to hear from you and see how that went. And if it didn't go well, then tell us that too. We want to know both sides so we can say, okay, you know, maybe that didn't work and maybe we need to think of better ways for us to challenge you in case in case that was too hard or maybe you just didn't know how to do it. Uh, we want to help you. We want to get on the solution side um, and help you strive in your spiritual life, strive in your emotional life, your mental life, and your home life during this time. So, uh, Morgan, I don't really have too much more, um, but I was wondering if you would be willing just to pray us out. Sure. That'd be awesome. God, thank you so much for this day. Um, thank you for letting us be here, uh, the two of us together, but allowing us to have time with our families. Um, God, I pray that you would bless this time. Thank you for seeing us. Thank you for being faithful, being a rock, for being an ever-present help in times of trouble. God, I pray that you would help us to um, make the choice to rejoice to you all week long, that we would find those times and that we would just grab hold of them and run with it. Um, thank you for the blessings that you've given us during this time, even if it is chaotic. And I pray that you would just be with us and reveal yourself to us this week. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we want to know, what are the things that you're doing this week? We want to hear from you. We love talking to you. Uh, we love to see you. Um, and I'm really sorry that we can't. So, uh, yeah. This was CH. MS. TV. Stay tuned for the prayer spot. Similar to dawn psalms, things that talk about uh, the rising of the sun, there are psalms that are dedicated to the setting of the sun. There are psalms that are dedicated to our feelings and emotions. And what we want to do is just take some time at the end of this video to read a psalm together that really focuses on the setting of a sun. 
to the setting of a day to remember God at the end of our day. Let me read it. It says, You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water, I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the riches of foods. With singing lips in my mouth, I will praise you. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of night, because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. Those who want to kill me will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the swords and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God. All who swear by God will glory in him. All the mouths of liars will be silenced. Thanks for watching today. Hi right, guys, I want to give a quick update, let you know what's going on with our dogs, because, you know, life of Lembo and Arnie. <sighs> Arnie's doing well, as you can see, he's laying here. Uh, Lembo's actually not at home, so he's actually at the vet. Um, we're worried that he might be a little sick, so if you guys could be praying for him, I'm a little worried. He's like my family. I guess he is my family and my wife. She's also part of my family. It might not be good that that's on video. Bye.